one of the most loved of Indian cuisines, representing a burst of flavors, ingredients and colors. The Gujarati Thali takes sumptuous, wholesome food to a different level. Quintessentially traditional, the idea of a multi-course meal on one plate is uniquely Indian and steeped in tradition. This platter ka jo concept tha, wo initially shuru hua Krishna ki jo puja archana karne wale jo bhakt log the. They started offering God food, whatever they eat, aur usme ek element tha rajbog, aur usme concept aaya ke they served 56 items in one platter, which is called as a chappan bog. The thali has its origins linked to temple food. And it is because of this and the Jain influence in the state that the Gujarati Thali is always vegetarian. Many of the dishes in the Thali also have their own histories. For instance, the very idea of the curry garnished with turmeric is at least 5,000 years old. Excavations conducted in Harappan sites in Gujarat have found traces of it. More recent, but still centuries old, 11th century Jain literature refers to how pulses were widely used to make a dish called Dukya, the Dhokla of today. Also mentioned in these texts is the Urad Dal Vada or Vataka as it was called and milk-based products such as the popular buttermilk or Thakra and Themanam or Kadi and Shikarni or Shrikhand. The text Bimala Prabhanda of Lavana Sami from 900 years ago also mentions the karambo or curd rice and sukhari, a sweet. More details are available in the Gujarati work Varanaka Samuchaya from about 1520 CE. This work shows that a cuisine which can be recognized as being distinctively Gujarati had evolved 500 years ago. Of course, commonly used elements in Indian food, including the Gujarati Thali, like chilies, tomatoes and potatoes, were all introduced by the Portuguese in the 16th and 17th centuries. But getting back to the Thali as a whole, experts trace the story of the modern-day version of the Gujarati Thali to this place, operational for over a hundred years now. Chandravilas in Ahmedabad is the oldest known Thali joint in Gujarat. Once frequented by the likes of Mahatma Gandhi and Sardar Vallabhai Patel, Chandra Vilas has been a must-visit for long. Kinari Joshi is a third generation of the family running this place. And she tells us how it all started with Chandra Vilas's famous dal. And loko dal mate, badaga no shak mate, khub prakhyat chhe. Loko dolchu bhari ne le, leva mate aave chhe. अने भात घरे बनावे अने दाल यहाँ थी ले जाए अने आधा लेट्री बुद्धि प्रक्षेप छे कि इनो मसाला छे क्रोड सुधी हमारे लोगों पास आर था इमने इमने ही सुगंध आउटी थी। The Chandra Vilas thali that sold at one rupee a plate with unlimited food was a big hit when it started, and it could have inspired a proliferation of such thali eateries in areas where Gujarati workers went. As factories were set up in Surat, Bombay and Ahmedabad, enterprising joints like this provided an unlimited quantity of homemade food at subsidized rates to workers who were often given monthly coupons. The speed of service ensured a large number of workers could be fed fast. Even today, old traditions continue. For instance, the setting of a thali follows a pattern. Thali, it's a well-balanced meal. It's a... Uh meal which has all different textures. Template of the thali is standard. There are certain items which are served in the thali which remain constant. What is served in that particular category keeps changing every day with the menu and with the season. There are three farsans and two sweets and one uh, or two vegetables which are dry and two vegetables which are with gravy and one potato vegetable. The focus is not to change too much the recipe because it doesn't need to be changed. The thali is a classic, but it is also varied. In Gujarat, there are as many as five different kinds of thali, each influenced by the region it comes from. Geography and history combine to create these wonders. First is the Kathiawadi thali from the Saurashtra region. 
Classic elements in this plate include fried chilies, pickles and spicy curry. In the hot Saurashtra region where sugarcane is grown in abundance, jaggery and ghee or clarified butter are served at the end of the meal. Next comes the thali from South Gujarat from areas like Surat and Valsad. The fertile soil here ensures the availability of a variety of vegetables. The classic dish here is a famed undhyo. The thali from North Gujarat has a lot of Rajasthani influence. Given that this area is in the desert region, dishes prepared here are not elaborate and have lesser condiments. The thali that is most popular is the Gujarati thali from the central region of Gujarat in areas like Ahmedabad. This thali brings together the different influences from across the state. It has the most number of dishes and is on the sweeter side. Sugar is used extensively because of the salinity in the water in this region. Finally, there is a Jain version of the common thali with no onion, garlic or potatoes. A lot of moong dal is used in this one. While the Kutch region of Gujarat may not have a thali of its own, the food eaten here definitely makes it to the general thali. Curry, khichdi and bajre ki roti are few of the popular dishes that form part of various thalis. While the quintessential thali is hugely popular across the country amongst the vegetarians and non-vegetarians alike, it's restaurant chains like Revival that have taken the Gujarati thali international. With such a huge Gujarati and Indian expat population living across the world, it's no surprise that the Gujarati thali is a sellout everywhere. The Gujarati thali is something which uh, is the most sought after uh, food internationally because uh, the, the kind of way uh, Indians are brought up, they would be as adventurous as eating uh, a local food of a foreign land uh, once, twice, thrice or probably a maximum of three, four days. But then when it comes to after three days, they would want to have the thali back and the Gujarati food and that's where the a fanfare of serving Gujarati food abroad gathers a lot of momentum for people who seek out for a restaurant serving not only Indian food, not only vegetarian, but a thali. The Gujarati thali links together the land, its people, history and the culture of Gujarat. And for the hundreds of thousands who relish it each year, it is a taste of home away from home.